Christian Jones dropped the ball. Watkins dropped it. Oh, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free! So football gloves actually have a synthetic grip that uh, aids your ability to catch the football or stop the football from its rotation. At the 10, at the 5, dives for the end zone, touchdown! I was a tight end for the University of Maryland from 2008 to 2012. Every two to three days I would get a new pair of football gloves and then absolutely every game I would definitely get a new pair of football gloves just because the football glove tack wears out in a matter of days. The gloves are not cheap as they cost anywhere from $30 to $40 a pair. And so I figured there's a better alternative to getting a new pair of gloves every time I needed a new grip. I came to the Dingman Center at the University of Maryland and I met Harry Geller. And I pitched the idea to actually apply something to the glove itself, let it dry, and you know, bring that tack back to when the gloves were brand new. And so we reached out to the chemical engineering department. We met Matt in summer 2012 when we were working on our PhDs in chemical engineering. Matt came to us with this football problem and we got excited about it because we had no idea that such a problem existed and we could actually use our education here at Maryland to really solve it. A couple months after we started looking into Grip Boost, uh, we decided we'd apply for the Pitch Dingman competition and we actually came in first place. Uh, and that early money, $2,500, gave us money to start looking into patents and trademarks uh, and developing our website. The Grip Boost is actually a gel and it's applied to the football gloves. You rub it together like you would hand sanitizer on your palms. And then you have a thin polymer layer on the glove and it replaces that old tack and it brings it back to when the gloves were actually new again. That comes from the waste of crab shells. So we can take the key polymers in that, do a simple chemical reaction to it, and makes it useful for use in Grip Boost. It leaves no mess on the football, and it restores tack to the gloves. Other products are going to tend to leave a lot of mess on your gloves, kind of get on the football, get on your clothes, and nobody wants that. So we started in football, but from there we launched actually a baseball product. We're actually marketing to the pros, but to the youth as well, and high school athletes. It's an amazing feeling standing here and you know having a company that is being successful and you know we're growing year over year, month over month. We've become a dominant product on Amazon and throughout social media kids are starting to find out about us, get really excited that there's a solution to their problem. The University of Maryland played a huge part in uh, the company and the, the role that you know took us to success. It just evolved over time and our perspective has constantly changed on Grip Boost as it grows, becomes more successful. Uh, we find new ways to keep on getting excited.